Welcome to the tutorial for DFT Fringe. DFT Fringe can analyze interferograms, typically taken with a bath interferometer. Here is a typical interferogram, and here is the analysis. For now, I'm not going to talk about what all this analysis means, but instead I'm going to uh, talk about how in the world we get this analysis. So, as they say on YouTube, let's get started. To begin with, let's just run through quickly how you load an interferogram and analyze it. We'll ignore all the configuration steps you would have done previously. An interferogram is simply an image file, a JPEG, or a PNG file that you've saved to your computer. We will load it using the Files menu. Next, you want to outline the mirror in the interferogram. DFT Fringe has lots of helping functions to help you to do that. Here I've used the Auto Outline feature and it gets it pretty close to what we need. Once we have the outline right at the edge of the mirror, then we press the Done button which computes the Discrete Fourier Transform or DFT. Of course, I named this program DFT Fringe because it uses the discrete Fourier transform method to analyze wavefronts from interferograms. I'm not going to go into any of the details of how it's computed or the math involved. I'm simply just going to show you how we use it. It records the phase information of the wavefront, which represents the surface of the mirror under test. That phase information is recorded in these disc-shaped side lobes of the DFT. These are much like telescope star test images of inside of focus and outside of focus that show you out of focus airy disc patterns. Each of these side lobes contains the same information, but one is from the one side of the wavefront and the other is from the other side of the wavefront. DFT Fringe will pick one of those side lobes to do its analysis on. But we can help it to filter out some of the data that actually isn't part of the mirror. We want to filter the area from the center to the edge of the side lobe. So click in the center and drag out to the edge of the side lobe. The edge isn't critical, so just do your best. Once you've done that, click on the Compute Surface button. To summarize, you load an interferogram, you outline the mirror in the interferogram, and then you adjust the blue circle and you press the compute. For more information, see my videos about outlining the interferogram or the video on the details of the DFT controls. There are other videos that describe how to understand the analysis and what all these plots mean, and I'll leave that for now. This video was just attempting to show you how in the world you get those plots in the first place. So, so long for now. Thanks for watching.